Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Arutakawa Tenga here. And this one is definitely going to be one of those videos that's a little of my, one of my deeper videos. And sorry if you're not in the mood, but such is life. Okay. I've said in previous videos before that I am incapable of hate. Which in and of itself is true. I do not have the ability to feel hate. Call it a miracle. Call it self-reprogramming. Call it whatever you wish. I do not hate. And which allows me to think about hate as people describe it in today's world. Give me a second here while I try to adjust the lighting situation. There, that should be a little better. Sorry, I didn't think about that one ahead of time. Ah, oh, just be a little blemish. Yep. Get worried that I'd start breaking out again or something. <laughs> Sorry about that. Being someone who is, who is truly incapable of feeling hate, allows me the luxury to think about it from a strictly analytical standpoint. What I've come to realize is, is that the way the way we as people today define hate is actually not the way it is actually intended to be defined. Now let me explain that. Let me try to explain this as briefly as I can for everyone's sake. The dictionary, the Bible, and every other source you can ever look up the word hate defines it as a strong dislike, whether rational or irrational in nature. Problem is, that is not how we as society tends to define hate. We end up finding, we end up adding the term disgust into that. Which is a problem, because if you mix a strong dislike and disgust together, you end up with an entirely different word. Odium. And I'm going to use some radio code so you, can do, so you can look it up yourself. Oscar, Delta, Indigo, Uniform, Mike. Go ahead, look it up. Odium is the word that we tend to use, is the sentiment that comes, is the actual thing we tend to practice in today's society when we apply the word hate. Which being someone who does, feels neither hate or odium, I have a problem dealing with uh, defining to explain it to people that I cannot feel it because how can I not feel something that seems to be an inherent human problem that is of today and of recent history, or it seems, or as some would probably say, the entirety of human history. I can argue with you on that, but for this point of video, I'm not going to. I'm not going to start that argument because I know it's an argument with no victory. Basically, I see that everyone is capable of having a strong dislike, perhaps myself included, but I do not feel feel it in my bones as others do, as some others do, or unfortunately, in some way, in the case of most people, which I know is, seems to be impossible, but as difficult as it is to understand, I don't hate, I have no hate in my heart for even truly despicable bastards. 
in the pantheon, in the realm among the pantheon of Adolf Hitler and Osama bin Laden, Saddam Hussein, as hard as it is to believe, I do not hate them. I do pity them. I feel sorry for them for their for the errors of their ways. And once again, <clears throat> right. But to return back to my point, I'm incapable of hate. Plain and simple. I wish other people could experience what life is like without ever feeling hate. I'd say about yeah, okay, nothing's gonna fix that other than trying to redo my hair all together. <laughs> I'd say about six to nine years ago is when I stopped feeling hate. Like I said, call it a miracle, an act of God, call it self repro self mental programming. One day I screamed to the heavens. Oh God, please take away my hate. After just experiencing a situation that made my blood begin to boil with that hateful feeling. Come a month later, a similar, a month or so later, a similar situation occurred that would have produced the same effect. Lo and behold, no boiling. I did not feel my blood temperature rise a degree. I again went outside, screamed to the heavens, and said, seriously, this is what you answer? <laughs> And from that day forward, I realized I am incapable of hate. You may think that that it makes to me impossible to feel the full spectrum of human emotion. Maybe it does. But if that, but if human full spectrum of human emotion includes feeling that feeling, no thank you. No thank you to that. Maybe it was just me reprogramming myself. Who knows? But I like to think that I did. It was a miracle. Yeah. It was a miracle to me. And that's what I'm going to say it was from now until the end of time. Till my end, right? At least till my end. Now with that, I'm going to ask you to... Please leave a comment down below. Even if it isn't just hate, if it's a feeling you wish you didn't feel, or for something you wish that the rest of society could be rid of, emotionally or psychologically, please, please, clickety click, click down below. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And I am out.